Welcome to Tectonic Nights channel. This is day 2 of solving lead code problems with pandas. If you are new to pandas, check out our intro to pandas video where we cover the basics and solve 15 lead code problems. Today's topic is string methods. First problem is invalid tweets. We are given a table tweets with two columns, tweet ID and content. The tweet ID is the primary key and content contains the text of the tweet. Our task is to identify and return the IDs of invalid tweets. A tweet is considered invalid if the number of characters in the content column is strictly greater than 15. To solve this, we can use str.len method to check the length of the content column. We will filter the rows where the length of content is greater than 15 and return the corresponding tweet ID values. Next problem is to calculate special bonus. We are given a table employees with three columns, employee ID, name, and salary, where employee ID is the primary key. The goal is to calculate the bonus for each employee based on the specific conditions. The bonus for an employee is 100% of their salary if the employee ID is an odd number and name does not start with the letter M. If an employee does not meet these conditions, their bonus is zero. We need to return a table with employee ID and their respective bonus sorted by the employee ID. To achieve this, we can use the apply method to apply a function that calculates the bonus for each row. We define the get bonus function that checks if employee ID is odd and the name does not start with M. If both the conditions are true, it returns the salary as bonus, otherwise it returns zero. Now we use this apply method with access equal to one to apply this function to each row. We create a new column bonus in the employees table based on the result of the get bonus function. Finally, we select only the employee ID and bonus columns and sort the result by employee ID. An alternate approach is to use a condition mask where we define our criteria. In this case, the condition is that employee ID must be odd and employee's name must not start with letter M. This mask will be a series of Boolean values where each element is either true or false. Next, we perform element-wise multiplication between salary series and the condition mask and update a new column called bonus. Since the condition mask contains Boolean values, the multiplication will treat true as one and false as zero. Finally, we return the employee ID and their corresponding bonus. Given table users contains two columns, user ID and name, where user ID is the primary key. The name column consists of both lowercase and uppercase characters. The task is to correct the names so that only the first character is uppercase and the remaining characters are lowercase. We must return the result table ordered by user ID. To achieve this, we can use the str.capitalize method to ensure that the first character is uppercase and all other characters are lowercase. The next question is to find users with valid email addresses. We are provided with a table called users, which has three columns, user ID, name, and mail. A valid email address consists of two parts, the prefix and the domain. The prefix must start with a letter, either uppercase or lowercase, followed by any combination of uppercase or lowercase letters, digits, underscores, periods, or hyphens. The domain must end with leadcode.com. We can use string.contains method here to filter the records that match this pattern and return the resulting data frame with valid emails. We are given a table patients where patient ID is the primary key and conditions column contains zero or more code separated by spaces. Our task is to identify patients who have type 1 diabetes. The code for type 1 diabetes always begins with the prefix diab1. To solve this, we can use the contains method and specify a regex pattern to match the prefix diab1. The pattern should account for the possibility that diab1 could either appear at the start of a word or be preceded by a space. Therefore, we need to match diab1 either at the beginning of the string or after a space. Here, caret symbol matches the start of the string, slash s matches any white space character. We combine these two conditions using or operator, 
And finally, diab 1 is explicitly treated as a literal string. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for more videos in this series.